Hello! Imagine a country where life clings to a narrow strip of green land, and beyond it stretch endless, lifeless sands. A place where cities are literally squeezed between the river and the desert, and every meter of fertile soil is worth its weight in gold. A country that decided to challenge nature itself, to build a new river where there has never been water before. A river meant to bring dead lands back to life, feed hundreds of thousands of people, and turn the sands into a blooming oasis. Sounds like the plot of a sci-fi movie? No, it's reality. And it's happening right now, in Egypt. 95% of this country's population lives on a tiny strip of land along a single river. This is the reality of modern Egypt, where over 100 million people are literally packed onto the banks of the Nile, while the rest of the land remains almost entirely barren desert. The Egyptians decided to change this situation radically by building an artificial river through the desert. It's truly one of the most ambitious projects of our time. The story of this grand vision began back in the 1990s when Egyptian scientist Farouk El Baz first proposed creating a corridor of development through the Western Desert. A geologist from Boston University, El Baz spent decades studying Egypt's deserts using satellite imagery and space technology, uncovering underground aquifers and the dry beds of ancient rivers. El Baz understood that Egypt was on the brink of a demographic disaster. Population density along the Nile reaches an astonishing 5,000 people per square kilometer, making these areas among the most densely populated on Earth. For comparison, that's about 20 times the national average. Imagine the scale of the problem. By 2050, Egypt's population is expected to grow by another 60 million people. Where will they live? How will they be fed? The narrow strip of fertile land along the Nile simply cannot sustain such numbers. But after the 2011 revolution, El Baz's project was given a second life. Egypt's transitional government adopted his plan as a flagship national development program. The country's youth embraced the idea with enthusiasm and believed in it too. Today, this vision is becoming reality under the name New Delta. Egypt is building an artificial river 114 kilometers long, which will become the largest man-made river in the world. The cost of this ambitious project is estimated at $5.2 billion. But this is more than just a river. It's a complex water system. 57 kilometers of it will flow above ground, while another 22 kilometers of underground pipelines will transport groundwater, drainage water, and treated surface water from the Al Hammam treatment plant. With the help of several pumping stations, this network will carry wastewater from a collection lake in Alexandria to a massive new treatment facility in the south. Completed in 2023, this plant processes up to 7.5 million cubic meters of wastewater per day, enough to earn a place in the Guinness World Records as the largest wastewater treatment facility on the planet. The scale of the project is truly staggering. Egypt plans to reclaim about 1 million hectares of new farmland, an area comparable to a small European country. In the long run, this could provide the nation with an additional 5 million tons of grain every year. The project is divided into several canals. The first canal, 42 kilometers long, will transport 10 million cubic meters of water per day, supplying irrigation for 250,000 hectares of land. The second canal, stretching 170 kilometers, will provide water for 330,000 hectares. The third canal, though the shortest, only 12 kilometers, will add another 26,000 hectares of irrigated land. And this is only the first stage. As a result, Egypt will be able to significantly boost its wheat production, a crucial step for a nation that is the world's largest importer of grain. Every year, Egypt buys around 11 million tons of wheat from abroad, making it the number one wheat importer on the planet. The country's dependence on foreign wheat is critical. 75% of its imports came from Russia and Ukraine before the conflict began in 2022. When wheat prices soared, Egypt's economy and food security suffered a severe blow. 
The water crisis makes matters even worse. Environmental experts warn that Egypt could run out of water by 2031. Ethiopia's construction of the Grand Renaissance Dam on the Nile has only deepened the problem, slowing the flow of the country's main lifeline. Even now, Egypt faces a severe annual water deficit. Although the Nile provides about 53 billion cubic meters of water each year, that amount is catastrophically insufficient to meet the needs of a growing population, agriculture, and industry. Climate change adds even more complexity to the challenge. Droughts, floods, and extreme weather events are undermining agricultural productivity. Desertification is devouring fertile land, while rising sea levels threaten the Nile Delta itself. The New Delta Project is meant to be Egypt's answer to all these challenges. The artificial river will use treated wastewater, groundwater, and surface water, an innovative approach to water management in a country facing acute shortages. The project's economic potential is enormous. According to the Egyptian Center for Thought and Studies, New Delta is expected to create over 500,000 jobs. These new opportunities are critical for maintaining social stability. The project also includes the construction of new cities and industrial zones, which will help ease the pressure on overcrowded urban areas along the Nile, where population density in central Cairo reaches 17,000 people per square kilometer. This, in turn, will help reduce unemployment, especially among young people. Unemployment among university graduates in Egypt is 10 times higher than among those with only basic education. Meanwhile, 51% of Egyptians are under 25, making the country one of the youngest nations in the world. The agricultural potential of the new delta is equally impressive. Plans include cultivating wheat, corn, rice, and other strategically important crops. This could dramatically boost Egypt's agricultural output and significantly reduce its dependence on imports. Today, Egypt's agriculture is about much more than imports. The country is known as one of the world's largest potato exporters. Egyptian potatoes are highly valued in Europe for their early harvest season. By February, Egyptian produce is already appearing on store shelves in Germany, Italy, Greece, and the United Kingdom, long before local crops are ready. Every year, Egypt exports over 800,000 tons of potatoes, nearly half of which go to the European Union. This has earned Egypt the title of one of Europe's winter gardens. Beyond potatoes, Egypt also exports oranges, onions, strawberries, and grapes. In 2023, the country even became the world's top exporter of oranges, surpassing Spain. The new farmlands developed under the New Delta project will open vast opportunities for expanding fruit and vegetable plantations, bringing in valuable foreign currency. For Egypt, agricultural exports are not just about revenue. They are also a key to strengthening food security. The more the country earns from exports, the easier it becomes to import essential grains and invest in infrastructure development. If the project is fully implemented, Egypt will not only be able to feed its own population, but also significantly expand the presence of its fruits and vegetables on the global agricultural market. The country will have a chance to become a major logistics hub for the supply of fresh produce to Europe, Asia, and Africa. The historical context shows that this project is a continuation of a millennia-long struggle against the desert. Egypt is one of the world's oldest agricultural civilizations. Thousands of years ago, the fertile lands along the Nile were the heart of the great kingdom of the pharaohs. Each year, the river flooded, leaving behind a layer of nutrient-rich silt that made the fields abundant and sustained millions of people. Even today, the very name Egypt evokes images of endless green fields surrounded by golden sands. However, everything changed in the 20th century. The construction of the Aswan Dam put an end to the annual floods, and the country's rapidly growing population outpaced the capacity of traditional farming. 
efforts to reclaim the desert were made earlier, back in the 1960s and 1970s, Egypt built irrigation canals and laid roads into the western desert. But at the time, modern technologies were lacking, and water was used far too wastefully. Today, the situation is different. New projects are using advanced drip irrigation systems that save up to 70% of water compared to traditional methods. Scientists are developing new varieties of wheat, corn, and potatoes that can withstand extreme heat and drought. In addition, Egypt is exploring the introduction of smart farms, fully automated complexes where climate, irrigation, and lighting are all controlled by computer systems. If the new Delta project is implemented in full, Egypt will not only be able to feed its population, but also export products with higher added value. Instead of sending abroad only fresh potatoes or oranges, the country aims to develop the production of potato chips, frozen vegetables, and fruit concentrates, bringing even greater profits to the national economy. And perhaps, decades from now, this man-made river in the desert will become as legendary as the Nile itself, a symbol of humanity's triumph over the harshness of nature. Interestingly, the project's proximity to airports and seaports provides excellent logistical advantages. Its closeness to transport infrastructure will enable quick delivery of produce both to domestic and export markets. The technological solutions behind the project are striking in their innovation. It also incorporates the use of solar energy, a logical choice given that Egypt enjoys over 300 sunny days a year. Solar power will provide energy for pumping stations and water treatment facilities in the desert. Critics of the project point to its high cost amid the country's economic challenges. Inflation in Egypt reached a record 36% in June, and the external debt now exceeds $52 billion. However, supporters argue that the project is an investment in the future. The return on investment is expected to be substantial thanks to the creation of new agricultural lands, industrial facilities, and residential centers. The project could pay for itself through increased exports and reduced imports, the first phase is already nearing completion. The Al Hammam Canal is 90% finished and new infrastructure is being actively built. Overall, construction is proceeding on schedule and is expected to be completed by 2037. Even now, the project is showing positive results. It has already created 100,000 jobs and agricultural output has grown by 10%. This is only the beginning of the transformation that awaits Egypt in the years ahead. Once the new Delta project is successfully completed, it will serve as a model for other countries facing similar challenges of water scarcity and overpopulation. That's all for today, friends. If you found this video interesting, give it a like, leave a comment, and see you soon.